infinite power, infinite, infinite power, power. The 7th edition of Counter-Strike Global Offensive at ESL 1 and the 4th consecutive year right here in Cologne. We've already trimmed the 16 teams to just 8 as we head into the playoffs. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cathedral of Counter-Strike. This is ESL 1 Cologne! A very warm welcome to all of you who are tuned in around the world, whether you're at home or in a bar enjoying Counter-Strike. This is the place to be over the next three days as we enjoy some fabulous Counter-Strike Global Offensive. They say you need championship winning form to win a title. But history tells us to win an ESL 1 Cologne, you need to be legendary. Our former champions from 2014 include Ninjas in Pajamas. In 2015, Fnatic. Yeah. 
And in 2016, returning again this year to defend their title, SK Gaming! It's time to introduce you to our first two quarterfinal players and teams. Our first team are already an ESL1 champion, having returned with the title from New York last year. And they go head to head with a team who recently also claimed an ESL title at the Pro League, the supposed super team. How will they fare as they head into our first quarterfinal? Let's welcome them to the arena, ladies and gentlemen, Na'Vi and G2. Ladies and gentlemen, your first quarter finalist. Let's hear it for Na'Vi and G2. The French super team G2 Esports versus Na'Vi. The stage is set, the players are ready. Jason, we have an incredible game on our hands. Yeah, I've, I've got chills. That was quite nice, that, that opening there. Uh, this is going to be stellar, obviously. What a, what a match to start the day with, especially considering we've seen Na'Vi like, these past couple days, Guardians here. He's really showed up at this event. He's been absolutely disgusting. Simple's always exciting, but on the G2 side of things, I mean, we know how stacked with talent this squad can be. Kenny S is looking, once again, like he can be contending for the best player in the world. And let's remember, Kenny S before has literally shed tears on this stage. He had a terrible performance. His team yeah. still did well, but he takes it to heart. He is that player who wants to make up for it. There's no stage better for this man. When he was nothing uh, but a young lad. Now he's, he's grown. He's won a major since then. Uh, he's been contending. He's been in the best teams in the world since then so trying to get back to that point one more time obviously and what a better way to do it than on this stage to get things started very very quickly the maps are so intriguing Lauren starting an overpass obviously both of these teams are going to be very very um, you know they're very good on this map both of the teams marked by CT aggression on this map the tough part is when you go towards nuke which is the second map that's that's a dangerous one for Navi. They have not looked good on it. This is a must win for Navi, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, part of a win condition being an entire map is pretty tough if you're coming to yeah. best of three. But I think a lot of people considered this with Navi. The group stage, they, they still had a turbulent time. They certainly had a long run against a couple of teams, but they made it through. But that's best of ones. Once it gets into that best of three, we start seeing a little bit of those flaws coming through in the map pool that certain teams can certainly exploit. And G2 being one of them, they've gotten Pretty, not, not necessarily Scott free with this map pool, but a the very pay solid safe start. Guard post Hello. Hey, PaySafe, what's up, guys? It's always good to hear <laughs> from you. <laughs> but no, we, we can start talking about G2 as well, what form they're coming into this with. It, it seems like it's, it's starting to hit that you know, pinnacle for them as of late. They've really started to ramp up their performance. They're peaking at a very, very good moment, especially in this tournament when you consider how, how well they've looked. Obviously, taking out S uh, beating SK, not taking them out, but beating yep. them uh, to qualify into the quarterfinals. That's, that's quite a big victory to have under your belt, even if it's just one map, one of the world's best teams. And that, that's kind of the confidence building you want to have going into the playoffs. And obviously here, none of these guys are any stranger to the stage. They're, I mean, the nerves, you know, they're, they're used to this. They're not, the nerves aren't going to be there. They're not going to be that bothered by it. No, and both of these teams have had moments, as you said, but a man that I look at is simple. One of the most you know, mind-blowing moments, that ridiculous yeah. you know, cash clip. 
He wants a bit of that. And now, and now he's got his dream team beside him. Let's bear in mind that Simple wanted to be around those Navi boys for years. He looked up to these players, and now he's on the stage joined by some of the most historic players beside him. The tough part with Simple is it feels like he's been a little bit lost since he's gotten in here. Like he's given up too much to try and make this team work. He's gone the other direction. So you hope, you pray that this stage brings out the best in him, brings out all that playmaking, all that excitement, uh, you know, the crazy kind of plays that he makes that, that, that creates like that has made him so many fans around the world. No, it does bring out the beast, but it does the same for other players on the other side. You've still got shocks there. You know, we, we can start at Kenny S. You can always highlight him, right? He's the easy go-to. But then every other player still has so much to be talked about. Apex had a phenomenal game earlier in the tournament. What he provided for the team was second yeah. to none. The entry kills were, you know, almost every single round, and they were good. They were hard given. And then again, shocks as well. Brilliant performances out of him. It's, there's so much to be said about G2 individually. Yeah, and I mean, with Apex, it's, it's not even necessarily the kills. It's just his commitment to that role of the entry fragger for his team. He loves doing it. He's one of those players who always speaks in interviews. That's what he wants to do. And even if he's not having the best score, he's providing impact, providing his teammates with things to work with. Either way, there's a lot of talent on that team. Navi is going to be in a dangerous position. Yeah, teams are very close to being ready. Of course, you can see them there just focusing up. I think we're getting the knife round started now to decide which side they'll be beginning on, I hope. Or maybe just a little bit of warm-up going through here. So again, moments away. And looking through the Na'Vi side. A lot to prove here for these guys. A lot of critics came out once uh, we saw the results not flood in. That was the surprising thing, wasn't it? You know, Simple joined, everyone went, dream team. There it is. Well, and you the had, results went there. You had the result early on, right? You had the win yeah. at New York, <laughs> the and then one it's team. just like nothing since then. And I, I mean, I think they brought up a good point on the desk. It does seem like this team's gotten a little bit looser, like less tactical. And you kind of, you, you have to imagine that that's, that's necessary for the squad just because, you know, losing that in-game leader in Zeus and then losing, you know, the ability to utilize that coach in Starx, obviously that takes out two very tactical pieces. And when you have guys like Guardian, Simple, all this overwhelming skill, guys that you almost want to just let, you trust their intuition, let them make the plays. They're just so good that you can't really contain them in a system and doing that just kind of neuters your own players. So we have kind of seen that, especially when trying to be tactical didn't work for quite some time. Now, it'll be interesting to see what we see today, because when you get on stages like this, the, the want to do more individually does certainly rise. They're, they're not new to this environment, of course, but when you've got players who can certainly rise to the occasion, you're almost encouraged to do it. You want to play to those moments. So a nice balance between both could be great for Na'Vi. For G2, though, we're starting to see a little bit more tactics beside them as well. We're starting to see a little bit more structure with these guys. The Smith's behind them, of course. He wanting to get these boys in the best place possible, and as you hear it and as you see it, Na'Vi and G2 are about to get this one ready. The stage is set. It looks pretty darn good as well. So I'm ready for this, Jason. Are you? It looks absolutely gorgeous. I am extremely ready. This arena always gives us good games. Such a gift to be here year after year. And this is the opening pistol round of ESL 1 Cologne. Na'Vi nah, begin things on the T side. They have to set the pace. They have to determine how this one begins, and G2 waits patiently on the other side. All the good luck, have funs have been said. All the pleasantries aside, let's see what Na'Vi bring into this round. And the same can be said for G2. They've gone for a very active start here. Yeah, look at this. Na'Vi all towards long A, and they're going to bypass this entire defense. G2's been aggressive towards the B bomb site. They have control of underpass at the moment. Outside of Flamey waiting for him, but at the moment, just tactically, Navi has outplayed them. Just off a blind guess, but it's going to be Shox who's getting into the first battle with Flamey. That's an underpass. That's an opening kill for, for Shox, and Kenny's got to do more as well, battling their way back to the bomb sites. Yeah, and quickly enough, NBK did make his way over towards LA site. So if they try to make a quick rush off the back, he could at least hinder the approach. And he does just that. Guardian will fall. And of course, we are working on those sounds, do not worry. Yeah, this is a very weird pistol round as well. I mean, it, it seemed like Navi was just so grouped up and everyone from there, I mean, Fl Flaming is all alone, he gets picked off, that's fine. But following that up, when you're Guardian and you're already at the A bomb site and you have no support, no one there to trade that kill, NBK, it's too easy for him. And now look, I mean, they're just kind of confused of where to go to help each other out. They've got to hunt down Kenny, yes, they know they've lost control, they need to get it back, and Simple provides it. Okay, Simple seized an Edward awkward position as you highlighted they don't really have step throughout the map no real progress gain toward a site at least and down to 28 seconds this is where you need those shots to land and ooh, three players in the right place here for g2 this could be very problematic for navi you're banking on seized and simple to do something great and simple's going to rise to the occasion looking for more but he gets taken down body there to reply quickly as this 3v2 is looking less and less likely for the navi boys yeah that's a great shot from body bailing out his teammate gets a second kill as well apex brought down to one hp but he's supporting 
supported so nicely. That's an opening piss around for G2. Navi almost able to claw it back, almost able to adjust and figure things out, but just dropping the ball at the last second. G2, they go up. Yeah, G2 with a nice start here. On the other side, Navi maybe a little confused as to how that first round happened. It seemed like they had a plan in mind, and G2 were having absolutely none of it. They had their own matters to handle. A lot of smokes to be coming out for Navi. Curious to see if this is a play for the plant. Oh. Oh, I'm hearing things, guys. I heard a footstep. Ladies and gents, we got some sound. All right. Things are about to get a little bit more exciting. And now we're going to see the execute coming from Na'Vi. Playing purely for that plant, it looks like. Very little else to play with. No armor, of course, and only that P250 supplementing simple with a little bit more firepower. Oh my god, Shox is going to be so lost in smokes at the moment. There's about six surrounding him at the moment. How does he handle it? Not very well. He falls immediately. This is great from Na'Vi. This is an explosion, but Kenny has arrived. He gets a second kill through the smoke. And it seems like G2, it seemed a little sketchy for a moment, but they've recovered nicely in this round. You don't need to see the enemies. Clearly, G2, you're fine. Edward's going to put up a great fight and simple on the way around. Where is that bomb planted? Can he do anything about that? I doubt it. And NBK might have heard a step. Not 100% sure, and Simple knows he's now not got a chance of stopping that bomb defuse coming through. MBK playing with his food, and he will finish the deal as the bomb defuse comes in. Navi with a great plan with limited amounts invested. They do at least get a plant out of it and two kills. I imagine they're going to buy here, though, Lauren. They have money for armor and AK, and yeah, Edward's already bought up completely. Here they come. The rifles are out for Navi. Shox had to have been so confused. He was surrounded by smoke. Not much to do there, but we're going to kick off these gun rounds very quickly. Four smokes on the side of Navi in this one. Only two flashbangs. This is where you have to kind of rely on guys like Flamey, guys like Simple, to take some duels to just win them because you're not going to always have the utility. It's double stack towards underpass again from G2. Committed to this. Simple's on the other side of it. Now these two aren't going to commit all the way, and they're still banking on Kenny, keeping that upper staircase pretty much secure. Once he gets pressured and falls back, they're very isolated. No aggression coming out for either team, just playing far back, especially if you're Navi over in the playground. Oh, Simple might be walking into that lion's den. Shocks, waits to the right side. Apex to the left. Both can take the fight, but good timing is actually going to maybe turn the attention. No, Apex succeeds. There goes Simple. And the rest of Navi now a little bit of what's been happening, but already G2 falling off this. Yeah, actually, not all of them. Shox is actually pushing up, and he's going to find the following kill on the Seas. Not a whole lot of damage done. Some missed opportunities, and the bomb's all the way down, back above the ladder. G2 doesn't know that, which is perhaps the saving grace, but Navi, they have nothing to work with. And again, everyone is just spreading out. Body's getting more information, pushing towards T-spawn. That's an isolated kill. That's just a one-on-one -on -one duel. That's one. They're going to need more, and I think Body, he's got the advantage here. Body can destroy all of this. Edward, Flamey, excuse me, actually succeeds there. Somehow takes that down, maybe expecting a little something around there. He's got the bomb, and now Navi have a little bit of room to work. Shock's in a bit of a position, though, to say the very least. Again, these players already pushed out quite aggressively and flamey. The second trial begins for him. He passed the first test, but would you expect this? No one's there to support him. No one's going back through. Shocks! if he gets this, surely his job done. 15 seconds remain. They'd need something somewhat of a miracle, Navi, to break this one back through, and they won't. It's G2 with three on the board. Yeah, 20 seconds left. You make that call all the way to go back. He just doesn't even have time to clear that corner. If he, even if he wanted to, there's really not a whole lot of opportunity. So G2, 3-0. Navi looking a little bit lost at the moment across this map. Losing the opening two players doesn't exactly help anything, obviously. But, I mean, now it just gets so much harder, doesn't it? Kenny just picks up the AWP, and we know what he's capable of. We know we've seen it in this event. And he might have a good time of it. And there's the first. NBK playing into this as well. Flamey falls. Three players remain for Na'Vi, and it's not looking likely. They do at least get the bomb and make it out. You love to see this kind of confidence out of G2 as well, just pushing up, just taking the fights, knowing the advantages. Look how crisp it is as well as soon as they're turning the corner. G2 is on point at the moment. Well, considering a lot of people say the French teams, or specifically G2, don't always play that well early in the morning. They're a slow starter, you know, a slow burner. Yeah, there's they look pretty some, good. There's been some history behind it, but certainly <laughs> today looking to, uh, to reverse that. And yeah, you're exactly right. Starting at 4-0, looking very crisp as well, individually. Looking to shirk off that reputation. Either way, just Edward, the only one left. He's got the bomb, but he can't really do a whole lot. And now, I mean, we don't really know a whole lot what Navi's going to bring into this T side. That previous round with the AK-47s that they bought up, I mean, it obviously gets crippled by the opening two kills, but also just so light on utility. You think Simple taking that over in the future when he has Molotovs, flashbangs, and nades, that could be a different sequence. Kenny's going to finish off that last kill. 
And you also have to feel to a certain degree that this game doesn't start until Guardian has an AWP for himself, and he just now gets it into this round. Well, by your definition, it might just be game time. A little bit of a changer is Guardian. He can certainly create opportunities, especially if Kenny S is trying to make aggressive, more confident plays. You need to keep him back, push him down a little bit. You can't allow that to happen. But it looks like a bit of a stack again here from G2. They're going to be playing out towards B, it seems. A bit of a boost as well to follow. And Na'Vi on the other side. Just play it through very normally. Through by the playground, just slowly building up. Very default thus far. A lot of faith in Kenny S alone towards the A bomb site. But also, I mean, you can see how aggressive. G2, this CT side, there's a lot of variety to it. This round, they just solo flash body towards the short sewers. He clears out the water area. They have a lot of information. They don't feel a whole lot of pressure over towards B. So now they can break up that stack. Apex is going to rotate back towards the A bomb site. There's the information gathering. Seized is waiting for it, though. Body gets punished. This is getting curious. Apex is going for a play up on long as well. He's possibly got two or three players there unless they cut through by toilet. So he's going to just post up here and Kenny has just fallen back. Yeah, that's the thing. When Apex pushes up there, Kenny has rotates around. More aggression over towards Monster. Oh, what a spray. Great control from Seize. A little bit fortunate as well. He can't get a third though. Finally, some success for G2 in that round. It felt like they were throwing bodies, literally body, at them and then had no success off it. Shocks can fall back, but they know they've done some damage. I wonder if it'll change Na'Vi's plan here. They do still have all four players still lying up A, and there's still Kenny S standing. Apex is well on long, flashed up, but he has a chance, and Guardian has no seconds to respond, and Kenny is stopping them in their tracks. He wants that final kill. He may not get it. Of course he does. He doesn't even need, need the orb for it these days, apparently. And G2 look pretty flawless thus far. It's great from Na'Vi. I mean, if you do your research into G2 on this map, you know they're going to be aggressive on the CT side. You know they're going to flash through Monster, try and take control of those short sewers. You know Body likes to be aggressive over there. But you should also know at this point that you can't just beat Kenny S by just throwing bodies at him, trying to take those fights of the AKs against the AWP. It has to be executes. He has to feel pressure with smokes, with flashbangs. That's too easy. Na'Vi cannot give him those rounds anymore. Looks like it wants to be a fast play for Na'Vi towards the B-bomb This stack, though, this boost, it could do so much. Apex gets two before being taken out. More than enough for Apex. Happy with that one, I can imagine. And now Body wants a bit of the action as well. But two possible victims on the other side looking rather deadly. But the first will fall, that being simple. And there's nothing simple about this round yet. Still players alive for Na'Vi. Still looking for opportunity. Shock's not landing cleanly. A bit of a surprise on that. Not often do you see him having a second bite at the cherry and not getting away with it. PK seemed like he didn't see Seized walking up. That's a or Guardian, excuse me. That's a, No, it is Seized. That's a great nade, though. Either way, he does get taken out. Kenny's the last one left in a one on two with the AWP. He's at the wrong bomb site as well. Navi's already switched things up. They're going over towards A. And Kenny's chosen to go with the AK 47 in this, in this clutch. Well, he's still got money. They might know the Guardian's somewhat low. I don't. You, you can't tell exactly how much, but took a little bit of damage. But seized is the threat, I guess you could say it. He's got the smoke as well. He can secure a lot of this bomb site. Kenny would have to play back in, but he's going to look for this. If he gets that quick kill, if he gets that first step, everything else becomes so so possible. And Kenny looks for it. Bomb now going in. The, oh God, he's got down Guardian. It's a one v one, and he checks it. But oh, he just looked away at the wrong time, and seized. We'll keep it together for Na'Vi. Finally getting one on the board. Na'Vi is so lucky that goes through. What are they doing planning in the open like that? No cover anywhere, actually. Kenny almost able to pull that one off. I, I, I guess, I guess surprised a plant this. in that position, he's probably thinking there's, there's no way he's to the left. That's why this, this, that clearing is a little bit, you know, suspect. It's not, it's not really a full-blown, I'm, I'm definitely checking this corner. It's just kind of out of habit more than anything. Five to one though, Navi get their first round on the board. That took everything though, that, that cost them all the money they have. They're gonna have to rebuy into this, and only one player surviving. Kenny's gonna be back on the AWP, and indeed they're gonna switch things up. Shocks looked a little bit shaky with the AK-47 in the last round. Yeah. He's going right into the AWP off the bat. You know, of course that's been incredibly critical, but when you're a player like Shocks, you, you normally land those shots very, very cleanly. Um, so again, maybe just quieter in the mornings, individually, personally, himself, but Gonna switch it up to that double orb, something that G2 have been running and looking very successful with as well. Na'Vi unable to even look toward that at the moment. Obviously strapped for cash, down to a far lesser buy. And putting a lot of importance on this round, that was a tactical timeout called but, by Na'Vi to talk things over. Are both orbs playing up to this? Yeah, so Kenny S is going aggressive and Shocks? Yeah, well Shocks to watch his back, Kenny's gonna go down the stairs. So yeah, if they get too much pressure put on him, it's a very simple thing to get overwhelmed, just one missed shot at the right, wrong time. The nice thing is Navi's been going a little bit slower and measured, so this is going to be an opportunity for these ops to ring true, and there's the first one. 
Edward just crouch piece, peaks the angle. That's easy. Yeah, and in the meantime, maybe Na'Vi looking for other opportunities, maybe not feeling that, but Kenny's also still very much alone here. He's, he is all alone. He can't back away safely. He's going to risk it. That's incredibly risky. Shocks had already fallen back to sight. Yeah. It, there's no way to know yes or no players are pushed up, but there was a chance. And look how quickly Simple is there as well. Well, Shocks bailed out very fast, and he was the one covering Kenny, so I think when Kenny realized it, you, you kind of have to take a gamble. You have two options there. It's just run the gauntlet on the way back or push forward down the stairs and see if you can find anything there. And he's, cho he's choosing the little more conservative option, obviously, especially with the man advantage. No need to risk it. Yeah, no Orp's presence, of course, towards A, as MBK and Body are both playing down by Monster, both stacked up on this one a little bit. MBK can still watch short for the push-up, and it looks like Na'Vi are readying for this hit. Four players prepare. Smokes, Molly's galore, but already the first kill comes in for G2. They mean business this round. Complete shutdown again. Any step Na'Vi tries to take, it is completely and utterly smashed. Simple tries to take a stand, but it's for nothing. G2 again. Looking so formidable. Yeah, nice setup from NBK and Body. NBK gets the first kill, hides. When he has the attention, Body swings out from the other side of Monster, picks off another one. Nice juggling of the aggression there for G2. This defense is looking so dominant. Navi don't seem to have a great plan. Nothing really doesn't feel any co cohesion of what they're doing. Yeah, now let's kind of rewind to what was discussed earlier, I guess, between us and the desk to a degree. The fact that Na'Vi, if they want a chance in this, this was a very good avenue for them, especially with Nuke coming up next. But we might be seeing that smoke piece again that kind of, I guess, confused shocks as to why he was yeah. smothered in smoke earlier. Oh, no, that's a bit of a problem. Not, Edward's fluffed his. No, not all of it, certainly. That's got to right. be frustrating. Yeah. There's also three players here for G2, so a little bit tougher for Na'Vi to get a plant in this situation. Yeah, and you can see G2 playing on the sides of the smokes here, trying to find avenues to land these shots, but they do actually fall, and there's a little bit more invested behind this one as well. You can see Simple still has that Tech 9, and oh, if Apex only knew how close he was, but a plant again achieved here for Na'Vi. Not bad at all. Out of everything that could go wrong, that's that's perfectly fine for them. They do lose down the round, but the bomb plant is all I guess you can hope for. Yeah, they're, they're going to be all right with that. Just the plant, the money bonus, or the losing bonus is building up as well. It's going to be at about three rounds. Doesn't really matter. They need to get on the board, and they need to do it right now. Yep. G2 starting to run away with it, starting to build up money. Kenny's already over 6,000. Body's right around 6,000 before he buys. Shock's at 5,000. I mean, there's this is too much that G2's able to get away with. And putting into context as well a little bit here, Na'Vi are known to be an emotional team to a degree. They do get very fired up. That was something that was kind of drilled back a little bit, taken back. They aren't as bad anymore as they used to be. You used to be able to hear the arguments going on, yeah. but when things go wrong on a stage like this, you feel it. But Kenny S, let's see if he's feeling it as well. He's got the corner, he's got the angle, and Guardian gets punished. Gets sent right on back as Kenny will back away and just quell the beast for now. Yeah, these ops are able to get a couple opening picks, but here comes the pressure. Now we can see if Kenny can manage it. There's Apex with a kill. Ooh. Kenny's missing some shots. He's going to fall here. Yeah, that's a no-scope, and it's not going to work out. Three on three. Good training for Na'Vi as they move forward, but they still have a long way to go. Hey, Simple's got an all power. You've got a UMP and that M4 sitting in the hands of Edward. Oh, but isolated. Simple tries to make the play alone, but a trade comes in, and Edward at least keep this viable for Na'Vi. Still a minute on the board. Plenty of time to create something with. A couple of smokes as well. And they've got an avenue back towards the B bomb site opened up. Shox has rotated over. Now, I mean, it's going to have to be G2 gambling of where they want to go a little bit or spotting from far away. So another round where, especially with two smokes, I mean, uh, the Navi has salvaged two smokes, picked them up. They can block off some of these choke points. You can isolate one of the players or you can at least find a plant. Running the clock down, keeping G2 guessing, of course, keeping them on their toes. We do see it looks like an attempt towards B, at least with the smokes. Whether or not they commit off the back of it, yet to be seen. Smokes get put up, and yeah, they're going to back away, go through underpass and go towards B, but that does mean with body pushed up like this, he sees so much so early on. He knows they're not coming here, so he prepares shocks. He calls out. Shocks get ready. Here comes Na'Vi. He takes his time. He toys with his prey. Oh, he gets outdone. Edward, he's still in this, and now body left in the 1v1. No utility to play back into it. It's all raw firepower. Edward waits, chooses his position. Expecting Body from another angle, and he can't adjust in time. Body, he wants to keep this game clean as possible. He's going to do exactly that. Going to recover the AWP on the way. Why not? You've got time for it. And just so well played overall. Yeah, not bad at all. Navi almost getting that one out in the two-on-two. -two. At this point, up 8-1. to one, I mean, the big opportunity that Navi has is resetting the economy. That's about the only thing that can really get him back into this game because of how the money's building up for the G2 side of things. And that's a good start. Four kills, force a rebuy of one of the AWPs. Does G2 actually want to go back into the double-op setup with Shocks? 
That's the question that they're considering at the moment, and they will. The big trouble that Navi's having at the moment is they're letting G2 get away with far too much at the start of these rounds. So many times, I mean, they're not in position to trade some of those opening kills. These ops are being too, too powerful. This is only the second round as well that Guardian's had an AWP. He really hasn't been able to bust out that weapon that he's been so effective with throughout this tournament. What a tough way to go out of the tournament if you're Guardian and you're not able to get the weapon that you're known for. Yeah, very frustrating, but finally a good start here. Finally an opening pick that's not traded. And that's, I mean, there's part of the reason why this, this works out for Edward is he just did that kind of crotch peek from the other side of the previous round and was picked off, but that was by shocks. Kenny obviously doesn't know that because he wasn't the upper that was there. So he plays the exact same position and definitely Edward's going to pick it off. He's going to pre-fire it. And look at this, a second opening kill. Now this round is starting to look good for Navi. Apex is in a really curious place, though. Yeah, he gets found by Flamey in the end. I guess he was caught between a rock and a hard place. MBK left in a situation that is somewhat impossible, as finally Na'Vi get things going for them. A good opener from Edward, and everything else fell into the right place. The aggression from G2 was met very firmly by Seized. Well, it's incredible how much easier getting that opening kill is by Edward, right? Because after that, G2, everyone on the team makes a play to follow it up. They say, all right, we just lost an opera over towards the A-bomb site. Let's try and get some information. Let's try and catch someone off guard over towards B. Navi's waiting for that. And then from there, it's just more aggression trying to make up for the kills that have come out. Just NBK. This is looking like it's going to be a clean sweep, although NBK does get one at the end. A second round for Navi, and they've chipped away enough at this economy. This is now a reset round for G2 after this buy. Maybe a chance here. If they grind out the last couple of rounds, maybe Na'Vi can sustain. But the thing is, you feel the G2 are just looking good over overall. Again, though, this is a tough tough round to come into. Only one kit, limited guns, limited utility. This is a very viable chance for Na'Vi. You finally have an upper hand in some form. Only Nade from Flamey going to try and get himself through towards playground as he does succeed in that. And the default begins again. Edward again going to try and find Kenny. This has been a pretty consistent battle, Edward. Trying to find the opera over towards bathrooms. A new angle, though, this time around. Kenny looking up towards Picnic. I think Apex is jump spot. Yeah, he was having a little jump spot down by long. Going to have to fall off that now. He's been flashed out of position. Kenny should be responding as well. Falling away from this, playing a little deeper towards the site as they are. He's not going to stick around this time. He got overwhelmed before. Doesn't really want any of that again. And again, you can see that G2 having to... You're digging the heels a little bit here. Not able to push out like they were doing before. Seized has been meeting it very nicely. He's been controlling that B side. Hindering and hampering any aggressive plays that shocks and body want him out. Even MBK as well when he joins them. So again, this looks like Navi do want to switch things up here. And maybe consider that B side. Well, they've ran right by the bomb. I think Flamey's got to go back and get it. 40 seconds left. This is going to be run down pretty low. NBK's already going to be on the rotate. We've seen G2. They haven't hesitated to get aggressive at this point in the rounds towards bathrooms to find the information. Indeed, you can see Apex clearing it out on the minimap right now. He's going to push up down the stairs. He's going to be on a very fast flank. This execute, it's got to be so effective. They need it to come quick. Here comes the set piece. Shox is ready. Flash in hand. Monster is in the threat. But one monster is already working through on short. And that was Edward. But no, he goes down. MBK and Body in great positions. Completely destroying Na'Vi. Leaving just Guardian alive and not long enough to take a breath. G2 again looking so good. Yeah, hell of fire into the choke point. That bottles, bottlenecks Na'Vi. I mean, they had plenty of utility for that execution, but... None of it was effective. Look at NBK. He's loving this. No one's there to punish him whatsoever. He's able to just crouch and spray. His teammate gets there as well. That was so well read, and you could see, I mean, that, that's the big thing. It's that play from Apex that really, really secures the round. He does come in and get a kill at the very end, but the fact that he has all that information, he has such a fast flank, even if some of that defense falls apart, they've done enough damage by that point to where Apex just stops the play and wins the round. This looks like something quicker maybe from Na'Vi as well. Molly's in. Nade follow. Looking for... Oh, the timing on the jump across was so well done with the nade. That's just going to make it more uncomfortable. Four players looking down through Monster and Simple actually connecting on one, but Shox is doing it better. And finally some success in the form of Edward and Seized cracking open the site, but it does still leave in a 2v2, and you still have Apex, and you still have that man, Kenny S alive. Molly's go in. Oh, Ooh, no. It doesn't land properly, but still somehow they do win it out. This is, this is absolute carnage for Na'Vi. It's not going well for them at all. No, this is brilliant, and you can see, I mean... G2, their plan of action is to fight in these choke points. They've really done the theory on this map and said, we're going to fight them when they're in the monster tunnel. We're going to fight them right when they're next to sandbags on these very narrow choke points. And we're going to have two bodies at that point of attack. 
it's so suffocating. And you can see it's starting to frustrate Navi. I mean, Edward that round just doesn't even want to play the plant whatsoever. He's trying to make such a big play, getting aggressive, trying to catch one of the rotations, one of the retake members off guard. It's Apex who's, who's just prepared for it. This focus from G2 looks so strong. When do you call the timeout for Na'Vi? Surely you've got to be th trying to come up with something. It is a best of three series, of course, but a 10-2, you're being outrun. Yeah, certainly. I mean, you, you would hope they would have called another, maybe perhaps for the next gun round. I mean, their strength on this map, as we've seen, because Andy did improve them on this map when he became coach, but their strength was the CT side and the aggression they like to bring out as well. But still, you have to give yourself a chance going into that second half, right? I mean, you need more than two, certainly. Kenny. Kenny's in a predicament. Very limited safety, you can see the quick play, but beautiful cover between Apex and MBK to ensure his safety. Again, looking so fluid, a G2. And another opportunity being vied for here, or fought for, but again, another crossfire in place. G2 are everywhere, you can't get away from them. Well, there's a mistake, oh, and there's a follow-up as well, yes. They bust that stack open from another direction, just a little bit of a pause for Navi, and the attack comes from the other angle. Seized, almost caught off guard, but MBK wasn't ready for it. The Molotov slows him down, and again, here come these Tech Nines. Two M4s salvaged as well. NBK, he's got a job to do, but Kenny's there to get seized on Catwalk. Simple's got nothing. Low HP. Oh, that's a nice shot. Or does he have something after all? Something from nothing, Jason. It's not impossible with this man, but Apex has been good so far. Solid. Bit of a rock. Simple finds something on this stage. Always seems to be able to create something, but he's only got 20 seconds. So when he strikes, it has to hit true, and he knows it. He needs four kills here now to complete this all. Three thus far. Apex, he's playing it calm, he's playing it cool, but he spots him out. I'm pretty sure they both know where each other are now. And Simple fakes the bomb. It's brave, but it's not good enough. Bravery will not get you everything in this, sadly. And Apex shows him how well he's been playing. Yeah, close for Simple. Navi, I mean, they've done this a couple times. The one round they win, or one of the rounds they've won is off those Tech Nines, off of Force by. This time they get another four. I mean, this is they've, they've kept the economy relatively low at certain points. They're just not able to capitalize on it, right? This is going to force a lot more rebuys again. And G2's never, I mean, outside of a couple of rounds, haven't felt too confident in the money they've had built up, but they've never been fully punished by it. Yeah. Navi coming so close. Apex in that one-on-one -on -one had about three different ways he could win it, considering the low HP, the nade, the Molotov that he had as well. Finally, that tactical timeout's called in for this gun round incoming. Edward being pretty vocal about this one. Curious as to how they can change this up. It, it does feel a lot of the individual firepower is working for G2, but overall they just seem so cohesive. It seems like a whole, you know, it, it, it's a whole machine for G2. It's not just, you know, five players, it's one collective. Well, it, it's wild as well to think that, that Na'Vi seem to have not come in with a plan for, for the double ops. Because, I mean, Shox has gotten some opening kills with the AWP. Kenny's gotten multiple rounds. He's opened things up with the AWP. And Na'Vi really have had nothing to counter it. A couple times it's just Edward taking duels against the ops, and he's won one and he's lost one or two. So. If that's going to be your plan, I mean, you're going to lose that more often than not at this level. Navi, if you've got to bring more than this. We knew, we knew this map was going to be pretty tough. There's, there's no disputing it, but they've got to be ready. They've got to bring more. How bad do you want this, Navi? Because this could be you going out of the tournament. Kenny S missing some uncharacteristic shots here, and he's still going to stand by close. He is feeling confident and gets punished. Finally, Navi makes something stick, and it's Edward at the helm. Two big kills for them. Seized wants a little bit of the action, denies the peak from that headshot angle, and finally G2 are sent packing. That's a nice switch up for Navi. Change the pace, smoke in front of Kenny. Probably two shots that he normally should have hit, or at least one of the two. But still, those missed, missed shots is just a great opportunity for Navi to get up towards long very, very quickly. This round's over before it really begins. Kenny tries to make a play behind the smoke, but he gets picked off by spray. Navi wise to it. And all that's left is to hunt down these last two weapons. And like I said, I mean, the economy for G2 is not very good. So to take these away would take out most of the weapons that G2 is going to have in the next one. There goes one. Flamey, not prepared for body to be there. But they know where he is now, and they can just hunt him down if they choose to. Yeah, Simple's on it. He's having a bit of a run through. Ooh, Simple. <laughs> that's not a fight you want to take. <laughs> no, he's like, nah, I'm all right. I'm, I'm down. I'm going down. The Navi fans are a very uh, good golf A little bit of hope. Clap. Golf, golf, a slow clap. Yeah, a little bit of hope. Come on, guys, you can do this. I, I can I tell them all about how that works. <laughs> hope. Hey, look, there's three teams here. Surely one of them's got to do something. Surely. <laughs> Odds alone are looking decent <laughs> in comparison to normal, right? Well... Body's got the AK, two UMPs, a CZ, and a P250 for G2. It's not the best buy, obviously. Five AKs for Na'Vi. The money was always fragile for G2, you were saying yeah. it. Forcing these rebounds. What is that, Apex? G2 
just running into them, hoping to catch them off guard, and you're not going to get away with it. Edward's starting to get pretty, uh, pretty on point this game. Which is going to be much needed if they want to make a comeback, if they want to have any chance in the next map as well. Five on four advantage. G2, a lot of eggs in this stairwell basket. Kenny and Shocks are there, bodies right outside of it. Trying to use these weapons as close range as possible. Now the four remaining players, how are you going to make this stick? They're, they're kind of gambling a little bit towards B. Shocks and Kenny having a look. Navi on the other side. The information will be found, but they, they surely be able to get more than one max. Yeah. But there it is. See, he's, he's been doing this all game. Yeah, he has been. He's been really, really good at just waiting for it. It almost feels very like like they've gotten some ideas, some inspiration from SK perhaps, because Seize has been playing like taco plays. He's just been waiting at that B bomb site, just holding down the fort, just saying, guys, later on in the round, if you need, you can come back towards B. But there's a good shot by Edward to end it. And Navi get the last two of the half to give themselves four, give themselves some kind of a chance some breathing room moving into that defensive side. Well, they're going to need something uh, brilliant to pull them back into this one. And they've got players who can provide it, but they need it on this stage right about now. G2 are looking very good. The veto was good. The individual performance has kept up to par. This is looking like a great series for G2. It's all in Na'Vi's hands to try and change it in the next half. Eleven four on the half. This is a welcome to the big stage for Navi, and it's not a welcomed one. Four rounds sit beside them. G2 have brought everything to the forefront. It's looking good. Yeah, I mean, it's looking like Navi woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. That was a very rough first half. Everything they tried got demolished. And here's the thing. If they want to come back in this second half, I, it's got to be Guardian. Three kills for Guardian in the first half. That can't happen. I, I almost, I hesitate to say he got zero kills with the AWP. It just simply not good enough. And he knows it and he'll know it. He'll take it to heart. He's a player who certainly does. He's been improving recently, though. You heard him in the interviews. I've been trying to play more and more and more and put the hours back in. Final made it great again, but we've got the set piece up on long as well. The CTs are ready and it's a shutdown. Finally, Na'Vi. 
getting into the game. This is what Navi loves on the CT side. Aggression towards long A, and in the pissed around, it works so well. There's a kill for Guardian, one for Simple. Edward, now even Flamey chiming in. Yeah, MBK watching as his teammates crumble around him. Nothing to be done. Surrounded on all fronts. Five alive for Navi. The perfect start in the second half. That's a way to get you hyped to start things out. Great for Navi. Yeah, G2 get very aggressive in that pistol. They're not expecting it whatsoever, are they? Three players towards long. That's a lot of manpower gambled out towards long A. If that's like a vast B play, you got to be a little bit scared for him, but it works. M4's UMPs come out for the CT side. No investment from G2. This is what we like to see. Not very typical of the French teams, no. I would say. I'd say of every team the to do this. The exact opposite, actually. Ah, maybe Smith's is finally getting to him, you know? <laughs> Smith's all along has been the guy who's just like, no, please. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Make it stop. Well, maybe it will help them in the future. Again, you've got to go through the motions on this round. Uh, you see two very uh, different teams approach. You saw Na'Vi investing into quite a, quite a subsi uh, substantial amount with the smokes, getting the bomb plan in, eyeing up the third. Did all right by them. Obviously, it didn't really equate to much in the rounds overall, but still, different looks from uh, G2 and Na'Vi here. Should be a pretty typical round that nade. I don't think it's going to do a whole lot. Not bad. There's one kill for Simpo. Another guy that you'd like to see come alive would be Simple. If he gets that, if he starts heating up, that could bring Navi back very quickly. And here's just some quick elimination, some bonus money being built up. Glock oh versus God, Edward, Edward, no! You, this is, no! that hurts, doesn't it? I feel so bad that we saw it all. The whole clip, <laughs> the all whole 20 crowd. bullets. God, everyone's missing. A little bit of a slow start here for Na'Vi. Edward's just like, please, did anyone, did they, did they show that? Is it's that a replay often, of it? It's, oh, it's not this too is often just you see the Glock win, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ alive. 11 to 6, we'll move swiftly on for Edward's sake. And they do have a good buy here, but G2's isn't the worst in the world. Um, a couple of Galil's coming out to say that. Here's an understatement. Five on the board. Ooh, Guardian. There's an opportunity for a shot to ring out, but actually, he missed, like, the first two players crossing. I think he just felt nervous about sticking around for too long, which is not the Guardian you like to see. You can very much tell when Guardian's feeling it. He hunts down kills. This time, though, he just gets away before anything bad happens. But he's still sticking around bathroom, still about halfway up. And, yeah, the timing of it, he can sense it coming when they start being able to take over and wrap around him. Look, he hasn't had much of a chance to actually use the orb. So when he gets it, he wants to keep hold of yeah. it. Jason, all right, he's just, he's very possessive. Um, for now though, the first kill does go in the way of G2. Putting those Galils to good use. Apex, they're gonna find Simple and make this a little bit trickier for Na'Vi now. Uh, timing on both Guardian and Simple is just off. Guardian misses the first two that cross over. Simple tries to swing out and get information, but two have already been there and were posted up. So, a little overextended, but, oh, there he is. First kill for Guardian. And now how does G2 close the gap against that AWP? Isn't that just the question? A couple of flashes and smokes, but I don't know if that's going to do it. Guardian's still around. Ooh, just on the other side. The timing's a disaster, and MBK catches him right on out. One player stuck by the truck as well. Checked on by Kenny S. It's a checklist that G2 are going through, and winning might just be that last step for them right now. Bomb's going to be planted pretty soon. Body forgets he has the bomb, but he goes back for it. So there you go. Bomb goes in. Molly's come out. They've locked this one down. Seized and flamey. It's surely save time. Yeah, I believe it's already a save call. Even one, as soon as those two players in the bomb site went down, it was just, all right, well, we can't win this one. So it's going to be 6 to 12. And yeah, you, you, needed, you needed more impact, didn't you? A little bit unfortunate on some of the timing, but regardless, this is going to be tough for Navi to recover from. That AWP, a lot of investment in just the third round. They're not going to be able to have it into the next one, so it will be interesting to see how this is going to play out. But Navi can't afford to lose the next one. They're going to buy moving forward, and they have to get right back onto the winning train. Yeah, I can imagine frustration there as well for Navi. Feeling, Absolutely. Feeling like you may be able to show them that. You were in a decent spot for it. Knew where they were to a degree, but just, you know, the timing, MBK catching Guardian in that situation. Felt like there was almost no recovery. Well, you can see Kerrigan there also feeling a little bit of a 2-0 based off the maps. It's what Sponge said on the desk. Did, did Yanko say it was going to be 2-0 as well? Did he give him Pretty one? Pretty much. Pretty much? <laughs> Pretty much. All right, I don't think many people who know these two teams to any degree give uh, Navi much of a shot, unless they you know, literally did well here 
Otherwise, this could be that 2-0. As much as I, I love to believe in anything that the Na'Vi boys can do, this just doesn't look like a good situation for them at the moment. Unless they, they, they get back in this half. Well, they haven't given you a whole lot to feel inspired about, have they? I, yeah. mean, I mean, that first gun round from, from Na'Vi on, on the CT side is very unconvincing, obviously. Certainly losing this one just pretty much is the nail in the coffin. That might just be the dagger. Na'Vi would be in a situation where they likely just have to force by for the rest of the half. G2 would be too far ahead. 4-1 set up for the T side. G2 is going to send four bodies out towards, or three bodies out towards Long, NBK. He's just clearing a couple things over towards Party. It's Simple who's pushed up. He's got Guardian and Edward here as well at range. There's the peak, flashbang peak, but he can't win it. Simple, he gets the jump on Body, but only down to 10 HP. He cannot complete the kill. And Edward's just going to walk right through the smoke. That is risky. He's going to make a play happen somehow, but... He is going to get into underpass. This might give the wrong image almost. If he spots two players here, he could make a call that might take them away from A. And the other players on the T side are over by toilets. They could pinch in on him. We'll see what he can do here. He's playing against the odds though. Still somehow alive. Gets flashed. Ooh, on the chase as well. Nicely done by Edward. Guardian then strikes. And the rest of G2 are left wondering what's happened. They, they, they don't know where these players are anymore. Yeah, that play from Edward pays off in a big way. Causes a lot of confusion. Guardian not aware that Kenny is behind him, I don't think. Apex going to turn the corner, clear it out. And Guardian was aware. He's looking the wrong way at the wrong time. Now the rotation is here. That Molotov can block him out. One's already up. Apex knows it. Eight seconds on the clock as well. That needs to be a kill, and it is. But can they get the plant down in time? Yes, they'll have it. The flank's coming in. Can he stop it? No. That's the other player that goes down. Kenny in a one on two. It can always happen with Kenny. We know it can. The magic needs to be there, and it's not. Flamey secures it. Na'Vi, again, just about staying alive in this, keeping things together by the thinnest of margins. There's, I mean, yeah, pat, pat him, pat man, that man on the shoulders because he's the winning player that round, causing so much confusion among the, among the offense. Just skipping right through the smoke, going down the stairs, distracting shocks, getting two kills out of it as well. Quite nice. Navi get their seventh, and importantly, they get the op back as well. They don't have to invest in it. They pick it up off Kenny. Guardian's going to have that. Another chance for him to get on point. Still sitting down. Uh, he's caught back up, actually. He's got eight kills now. Still bottom fragging, though, isn't he? Well, he's got one of them MVP stars. <laughs> don't see Flamey with one of them. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I always put rock, you know, Flamey in that rock spot, right? You know what I mean? Like, he delivers when he needs to. He's been, he has been very quiet this game, to be completely honest, which is a bit of a shame, but... Overall, I, I still expect a little more from, from your Guardians in the world. It's, uh, it's just something that you hope to see come through for the sake of Na'Vi. But for now, it's not there. But Edward's doing very well. The Beast has seemingly re-emerged. And he's got a great spot on this. If they open that door, they're going to have help to pay. Oh, Kenny's looking for it, though. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, never mind Kenny. Any BK is just going to delete him. He had about 10 bullets, to be fair. I don't think the fight he wanted was there. He's a little bit confused in the door opens. There's no one to look at Kenny watching for the aggression. There it is, and he actually gets the damage. Not the kill, but sees down towards 20. That's going to put him back on his heels. G2 in this game have just seemingly been a step ahead of Na'Vi everywhere. No disputing it. I don't think you can. <laughs> Na'Vi just trailing at this point. Good reply. Simple with a quick play. Boosted up there, and now G2 want that response. They want to find a fight that they can win, but Guardian's not going to let it happen. Defending the A-side with his life. He knows that he's going to have players everywhere soon enough. Kenny S being one of them. Body not far off either. And Apex joining them. And now three players from Na'Vi position themselves ready for this A-hit in support of Guardian. And he's already got one in the round. Looking for Apex out towards long. The timing, he's got a second. Now the defense is on. You can see Guardian. He's working it now. He feels it. But he misses that shot. It's a little unfortunate. Apex just swinging under the bullet. Now into a two-on-two, -two, but there's a flank on the way up the stairs. Kenny's got to know there's a chance of this. And they do get away with the bomb plant as well. This retake is going to be tricky for Na'Vi. Two players in very different spots, and they need success from Flaney, and they don't get it. Simple as that, and seized. Going to fall as well. Apex turreting around. You want to talk about showing up when you need him. Apex, that's an incredible performance for him. Four kills, taking out everyone, clearing out Guardian of that, of that position he's in behind the truck. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. 13-7, and again, Na'Vi. This one hurts. Another time where they win and then lose immediately afterwards, and they're back onto the pistols this late in the game. Not ideal. No, clean eco. Get it over and done with. Stack up on long. Hope we can get a couple of guns away. Force a little bit of reinvestment from G2. Not the worst in the world, but when you get to this point on the board, when you, you have this score against you, it's more about how you feel about those rounds, and they cannot be feeling good.
stack for Navi. Like we said, G2's been a step ahead most of this match. We'll see if they can figure this one out. All five players are there. It's mostly USPs, though. I think Guardian just has a P250, but that might not even matter in the end. G2 clearing down the stairs, and now the defense gets aggressive. Now they're going to start making their move. They don't want to just sit back and let G2 go to the other side of the map. Opening kill for Apex. So far, this game for me is just sophisticated dominance from G2. As Kenny S, ooh, misses a shot there, goes back in, gets absolutely dominated. Two kills from Na'Vi. I got four bodies in a very trick. No, this is not the round. This can't be it. Surely not. Guardian, if there's any time, the time is now. And he misses. 43 seconds. And it shocks on the other side. Brave and brazen, but it doesn't matter. Guardian finally delivers something. And gives Na'Vi fans and themselves a little bit of hope in what looks like a dire situation. That's crazy. So many mistakes from G2 in that round. Mispositioning. It seemed like once the fight was on, they, everyone just tried to take the uh, take the eco against the pistols. And I mean, it looked like a couple players didn't have head armor. Kenny got deleted pretty quickly. Awkward timing for him right when he's double scoping. But still, everything after that is just blunders on individual levels from the G2 players. The other mistake that was made, obviously, is the fact that the bomb is basically all alone committed in towards bathroom. So when it's a one-on-one, -on -one, Shox has to go get it. That's why you see that, that jump right at the end that Guardian almost hits. But either way, Navi, they survive. 8 to 13, clawing their way back into it. A tactical pause from G2 here, you can see. Most likely to just say, all right, guys, we've, we've slipped up here. We've let the mental focus drop. We've yeah. made some mistakes. Let's get it back. Don't forget who you're playing, boys. Na'Vi, as said, their, their entire win condition of this entire game comes to this pretty this map. Unless they've changed something drastically or nuke, if they've somehow come up with a brand new idea and they've been waiting to show us something magical, which is very unlikely, they need this map. So don't give them that chance if you're G2. You play your game as solid as you can. You retain that formidable focus, and it takes you through the game. Being a little humbled here now, finally being brought back down to... Earth, I can imagine. 13 to 8, though, still a good scoreline, and Na'Vi, and four players towards B at the start. Yeah, Mahdi's got the only rifle for G2. They've got plenty of utility, though. Four smokes, four flashbangs as well. Can use this just to at least get in, but there are... Yeah, there's a lot of players here for Na'Vi. They've read this quite nicely. Guardian, the only one over towards A. With that AWP, and here it comes. C is going to be right behind the smoke, though. He sprays down two. Simple gets another, and this is easy for Na'Vi. Too easy for Na'Vi. 13 to 9 as they come back. Clean, uncompromising. It's what Na'Vi needs. Steps in the right direction here. Maybe the game's not over yet. Another eco coming in for G2. This time, going to be very clean, if anything. This is a very, that's a pretty decent sized investment out of G2 to have no success with it whatsoever. Not even any economic damage dealt. No players from Na'Vi falling. So yeah, it's got to be a full eco. No nades bought, no pistols upgrade. Extra. Excuse me, Apex has a P250. The entry fragger. <laughs> Right, he's fine with just a rifle and some armor. He, he, you know, he doesn't need nades. He'll, he'll survive. And C's listening out here through underpass. You can hear a fair amount. Guardian going to fall off this. Doesn't want to give anything away. You can see they're, they're so cautious. I, I know. That's this. almost worrying to me. I feel I feel like, you know, at that range, like, stick around a little bit. Uh, you've got to know they have nothing. Well, Simple's not looking crisp. Maybe you should have fallen back. I don't know your limits, Chase. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's what it is. They're just like, yeah, we're not fully warmed up yet, so we'll not take these fights. All right. 13 to 10. There's life in them yet. Life in the old boys yet, eh? They're getting there. It's, it's, it's the next couple of rounds that are going to intrigue me now. Because in theory, G2 had to get through those last two rounds. I, I, a bit of a, you know, a big purchase in the, in the first of the last two. But this is the round they should have had that mindset ready for. This is the round where now we want to break that mindset. So again... Na'Vi looking for something different. Look at this aggression. Three players coming up. Edward's going to be there. Seized and Simple going for something. And Seized isn't stopping. He's going on a walkabout. Three players on the other side of that smoke. Simple beside him. They want this. Are they going to do the counter boost? Are they going to get up here? You can peek over this. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, no way. G2 read it like a book. They're so ready. Oh, no. And that's going to shatter you. They had it. They had everything they wanted. What a bummer that is. And there's the third kill as well, NBK finding Edward. That was so beautifully done from Na'Vi up until the point where it just gets shattered by Kenny. Should have been a free kill. Should have been able to fall back after it as well. Regardless, this round has slowed down. 
That was the attempt at an uppercut for Navi, the knockout punch, perhaps, to make that comeback a real thing. Guardian's still alive with the AWP, but he's so far away from being able to have an impact in this match. It's all on Flamey. If he can get one or two kills here, he might be able to do something. He's going to go through that smoke, though. Oh, he's no, looking the wrong good. way. Yeah, the timing's not going to be with him. That's unfortunate. He was going to be dead three different ways coming through that smoke, and now it's shocks. He falls to Guardian, but they know where he is, and I imagine G2 is going to send a couple players out on the hunt by now. Bomb, go plant. Everyone else, hunt down the AWP. Yeah, MBK is so far forward, just securing one the site. Nice deep nade. Catch that, Guardian. Gonna chuck one back. Doesn't find anyone, though. MBK is so close to that smoke, ensuring that no one can make a play through it, but leaves bank open now. Guardian's next port of call. Four players, though. Such a tall task, even for Guardian. As the clock ticks, he does have a kid, and he has a molly, but... A kill now is almost paramount to even creating this to be a, a viable situation. We've seen Guardian win impossible situations in the past. It does worry me how far away Kenny and Apex are. MBK and Body are still close by, but he's playing this timer. Now, whether or not he backs away or if he gets hunted down is the next thing. They've worked out that he's somewhere weird because they've gone all the way through B. He's creeping out. He's going to go for this Guardian. Oh, he's been spotted. The plan's up. You can't get away with it. Not like this. And a valiant attempt, but Body not gonna happen. Body on point with that. Sticking around long enough to prevent that kind of a play. Well done. Well done to the, to the younger, more inexperienced player on this G2 team as well. Plenty of money though for Guardian to rebuy that AWP. We're gonna have another timeout. Na'Vi, only one left in this game. They've tried to make the comeback that previous round. That's so heartbreaking, isn't it? The aggression up towards Fountain, it looks so good. You love the call, you love the aggressiveness, how proactive they're being on the map. You love the idea, and it just doesn't work out. 14-10, still a chance, though. Oh, the unpause has come through. It's time to see if that chance is going to exist or if it's gone. If they can create their own reality to make this play happen in. Na'Vi, you've come in against the odds in this sort of map, Paul. You could see it even in Betway stats. So again, for G2 here, they were happy with this map board at the start. They're happy with the maps they've been given. They knew this was going to be a tricky one, but let's see what they can do now going forward. G2 in a great position. Na'Vi back starting to feel that wall behind them. But Guardian wants to change it all. He wants this game finally going their way, but there's no one to be found. Oh, you love that from Guardian. That's, that's the mood you like to see him in. Much farther is he going to push up? There's a timer on this when he starts to realize he can feel some pressure towards door. He's got a boost of his teammates to back him up, though. Simple out towards long. He's got an op as well. Here's the switch up. Double op set up. We know what kind of a dynamic op or simple can be. Desperation time for Navi as they want to prevent G2 from getting to 15. And now G2 starts to make their move. Apex and body. Trying to take control of bathrooms up towards the A bomb site. NBK just flirting with B. There's Guardian. This is dangerous. He's tagged down to 23. You don't want to have extended battles like that with Guardian. But will they expect that double up up on Mong? Simple's still there. He has fallen back towards site. C's trying to spot above that smoke as quietly as possible. The first bits of utility put to play towards A. Counter flash comes in. NBK in shock, looking down speedway. That was far too close. Simple. Trying to make this happen. 30 seconds though. G2 aren't having much luck on this map. It's going to be a very late hit here, and one of these two plays from Na'Vi could completely derail it all. 20 seconds now remain. Seized goes down first. Body claims that. MBK goes right on in, though. Players are plenty. Edward, oh, flashed up, doesn't care. A second as well for Edward. The third for, comes in as well. That's finally what they need. But my word, was that late in the day? Eight seconds left for G2. They were getting nothing early on. Yeah, and they, they had those smokes very nicely. I mean, even that kill just had to be traded by Edward. I mean, and you want to talk about perhaps a little bit of a helping hand. That one shot that Guardian had onto NBK to bring him down very, very low is what helps Edward stay alive and get the following two kills. If NBK is full HP, that could just be a round win for G2. Either way, the op simple finds a way to have an impact around the smoke. Back onto pistols for just G2. This is doable. Navi's coming back. 11-14, still keeping themselves in it. This double up setup is going to be so powerful. We saw Navi didn't have an answer for it in the first half. Can G2 figure it out right at the end here? Yeah, G2 yet to really make many timeouts, make many differences at this point. They've just kind of gone through it. They've been doing well. Why not? But these oh, no. are in a little bit of a 
Pickle. Uh, are, you, are we going to be okay? Edward, please come and save the day again. Edward. Oh, no. Don't do that, Edward. Anything but that. Don't let Kenny S have a chance. Oh, God. He's got an up as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Please. Don't do this. Almost overrun by Glocks. The two ADVPs in the bomb site, each of them missing critical shots as well, right? <laughs> Let's those pistols get way, way too close. And if only you could see chat, Edward just saying the uh, mouse that he's using with a little love heart as you do those nice jumps with the mouse wheel. Always fun when you press mouse too and you get a little hop in there too. But yeah, Navi's double up now. This is uh, the round you want to see it in against the bigger guns. You've got Kenny now back on the up too. So this is the big test hit. This is it. Yeah, well, here's a test. Simple. Oh, I thought he was going to hit that. Kenny, it looks like he gets tagged down to 79. Perhaps right through the edge of the wall. But still, both of these AWPs, one play, I mean, both of them playing on the A side of the map. Guardian has it out towards long. So G2 is going to be very slow and cautious. Slow and cautious is all good, but last time they did eventually make that hit so late, they were left with so few options. Yeah, you, you certainly got to be careful running down the clock that way. We all know that can be. We've seen plenty of teams fall prey to it. But definitely, I mean, even getting to that position without being damaged by the AWPs is kind of the goal at this point. You want to get into the, the staging for that execute before getting picked off. Plenty of opportunities for it. Nice flash, though. Guardian's going to go back, try and get the angle with a flash of his own, and it's going to work. Back and forth we go. Finally, G2 starts to commit. 48 seconds this time. Slightly better. Giving a lot of weight here, though, but again, Navi aren't pulling players yet off of B. Finally, Simple starts to begin to move, but Edward getting the nade right to the face. Guardian still committing very close by, but this time he will not be moved. He will not relent. Two big kills, keeping Navi certainly alive. Oh, and the third sublime, but the fourth is one step too far. It's just Kenny S now trying to claw this back together, but time, it's run out. He needs to get away. He needs to keep hold of that all. It took him all game, but Guardian is here. What a hold from him. You're exactly right. Navi not cheating anyone over towards the A-bomb site, not rotating anyone to help out. It's got to be Guardian in that position. He's an unmovable object, and that's perfect. It's going to be 13 to 14. Navi, one more round, and they've evened things up right at the finish line here. We said this map was required. Actually, they're trying to hunt down Kenny. Yes, they're so close to him as well. They're not going to get there. It. Maybe an extra second would have been nice. Tactical pause from G2 trying to figure this out. <laughs> They've got a lot of figuring out to do. It, it felt so good for so long, and then suddenly you realize the scoreline's 14-13, and Navi are kind of back. They've got good money. They've got double orbs, and they seemingly have an answer for everything. Your big guns, not actually have dropped off, but they're not quite having that same success. And Guardian, Compared to the first half, where was he in that sort of moment? He barely, he, I don't think he got an AWP kill. I think he was, what, on like three, four yeah, kills? Yeah, he had three kills quiet. in the first half, and, it, and I think he only had the AWP two, two separate rounds, so you can't imagine he had too many, maybe one, perhaps. The difference a half can make. Well, and also the nice thing as well is it makes Edwards looking good as well. And he's just playing like a supportive role for these AWPers. I mean, he's had, he's had Simple with him, he's a Guardian with him, and his job is just to basically keep space in front of the AWPers and his opponents. That round, it's a little bit tough due to the fact there's only two of them and all the nades raining in. He got pushed back and banked quite nicely, which is why it's so amazing to have an opera like Guardian really show up in a big round like that. Speaking of big time oppers, G2 is relying on Kenny S here. Upgraded pistols in the one op on Kenny. He's got to be the initiator. Let's see if now G2 of the fortitude that Navi have shown to pull it back from when things don't look so good for you. Very different lean from Na'Vi, though, having initially, what, four players towards B? Maybe expecting and reading the economy well, trying to keep players to where maybe the likely hit comes from. But with this many smokes and flashes, G2 can, G2 can form this anywhere. Again, banking on Kenny S to create any sort of avenue they can utilize. Yeah, he's going to have some time peeking in towards the A-bomb site. Edwards is there, and he was out in the open. This is a chance. Edwards got to be very careful. Hold his nerve. You have Simple and Guardian here with the AWPs. You don't want Edward taking that peek. And they hear the op ring out, but back to B we go. NBK with the bomb going to meet up with Apex. Three players coming from short. It's just seized and flamey here right now. Navi's got to read this. Bear in mind, G2 haven't really tested B that much. It's it's mostly been you know plays towards A, which have been completely dismantled by you know the dream team, Guardian Edward. But oh god, this is awkward. They're both down in the same area. G2's going to have so much room to play with. If they get an awkward moment, a shot missed, or an angle not held, they're, yeah, they're actually in real trouble here. And MBK with that CZ, we know how well he's been playing with it. Now they have the sight. Is this the round you want to lose it on? 
Na'Vi, is this where it stops? Guardian, though, to find Apex. Simple praying that something lands. He gets the connection, but it's not the kill. Would have loved that kill. Kenny now, he's been posted up. That created space for him. There's one at range. This is where he excels. This is the follow-up on Edward. But he's got more to do, and there it is. Down to just simple, and he's got need, he needs to make more magic happen. Pushing up, there's one kill, wrapping around the pole. But he's got too many opponents to deal with. It's Kenny S again. All three kills at the end. He gets G2 up to 15. Map point. The moment you think Na'Vi start to look safe, the moment you start to believe that maybe G2 bit off more than they could chew at the start, that happens. It's tough. It's the other side of the double op setup. As soon as they're not in the proper position when the execute comes in, it's so hard to find success to get in front of those smokes. Obviously, the upper balcony is blocked off, so you can't peek from there. Guardian's got to go down where he's just being bombarded with flashbangs, and he can only really have success if he's peaked. Look at Simple, though, taking matters into his own hands. Wants to follow this up. There's the kill. Clean headshot onto Apex. And he can just fall away. We haven't seen Simple exert his dominance and his influence onto this match quite yet. And now he's needed more than ever. Navi is starting to feel it out, though. They're, they're already putting Simple into the right place for this. Guardian's falling back off it. A small bit of success might just kind of be the demise now for G2 as they, again, head towards this. Or can they make it count again? So many obstacles to get past those shocks. Trying to be the spearhead of this entire piece. But players everywhere. Danger awaits and Simple's part of it. Seized. Great flash. Oh, he caught on himself as well. Blinded up. But finally, Simple is there again. Na'Vi holding this together by the finest of strings. But it's just Kenny left now as the rest of his team fell in that entire mayhem that went on on B. Yeah, that was messy. But obviously, Na'Vi is going to be very happy they come out on top of it. Kenny. He's got 45 seconds. We'll be interested to see if he's going to go for it. Might just try, actually. Yeah, he should, probably should just save this ADVP, shouldn't he? Long time to have to save it, but he has one, one big benefit here, and I think he's going to be able to save it. There's no economy on the Navi side. If they try and chase this down and lose two weapons, they're just as hindered in the next round as G2 would be. So this is actually a dangerous duel. Legged. Nade comes out. He's still fighting for this, though. He's still giving it everything he's got, and he will lose out on the AWP there in the end. Guardian secures it, and right on the doorstep is Na'Vi, and let's see that money for G2. It's not great, is it? We could it, be going OT here, Jason. Yeah, we. this could be an OT game. Although the previous round that, that G2 just won was off of similar buy to this, wasn't it? The utility, the upgraded pistols. When are we going to see that Astralis hit to be? Either Everyone way. does it. Everyone does it when they have no other options left and they're on a shoddy bar with some mollies. I want to see it. Listen, either way, this is an incredible comeback from Na'Vi that looked down and out after that first half. This CT side has been impressive. They faced a lot of adversity as well at times. The double up set up strong for both teams on the defense. So much resting on this map for both teams. G2 know they lose this, they get into a real tough time. And Na'Vi know even more than ever, this could be where it spirals. Simple spots one. Oh, that's a bomb! That's massive! That's going to give so much away here. They were setting up for the piece, for the Astralis hit probably, or something similar. But can they pull it off now? The, the plan's been seen. It's been unraveled. There's three players here as well. Three players, and they're all M4s. They're not AWPs, so... Navi has plenty of chances to win this round here as the X2 comes in. And here we go. Flamey to find Apex. This is looking like OT, and there it is. 15 to 15. It wouldn't be Cologne if there wasn't OT in the first very game. And there's the Navi fan. He's happy. <laughs> he's having a good time. It started with a slow clap. Now he's up. <laughs> now he's, he's ready. Up. Oh, what a comeback from Navi. That is so oh. well done. They had so many different times in that second half, especially they could have just collapsed. Should be said, I mean, Guardian, 19 kills in that second half. He had three at the end of the first. That's the difference that it makes when he sh shows up. So overtime on map one. And we are getting started. Last couple seconds of the countdown. Guardian, starting to feel it out. Edward, consistent throughout the game as well. He was a highlight factor. But OT is pressure, and it's a lot of it. Straight into the double AWP for the CT side. 16k, why not? Let's go for it. That's it is true. That is the big difference for viewers watching at the moment. Many events have the $10,000 star money with, uh, with three rounds per half of overtime. Here at ESL1 Cologne this year, it is going to be 16k in three rounds per half of overtime. So a lot less risk, a lot less uh, having to worry about money management once you get to OT. Shox is 
going in alone pretty far. Now he might just hold this for a while, but he is very much the solo player. Maybe expecting the Na'Vi like to play out of this, trying to catch it off, being aggressive, looking for info. Calculated gamble, it also puts him in a better position if there is going to be presence over towards A, if his teammates do find a pick towards the A bomb site, he's in a better position to try and just pick off one of the rotators if they just get caught snoozing for one second. While this happens, while he's being uh, very, very patient, Apex and Body are going to try and make a challenge happen. Simple! Oh my word, simple! There's two players there! Didn't want to fall back, he wanted to hold his ground, but that didn't go so well for him now. And it's Guardian who's going to pick up the mantle. Flashbang's gonna help him get that angle again if he wants to go for it. When does Shox make his move? Caesar's actually lurked just past him on the other side. Caesar's pushed through Monster, so that's awkward. And still G2, they're stuck here. Waiting for that peak Molotov burning just a little bit. It feels like they can't push forward and NBK with the bomb, he's gotta find some safety. He doesn't know how far he can go. The problem is that if Shox calls, hey, the site's clear, Seized can catch the rotate. Yeah, this is, this is actually a very dicey situation for both teams, especially with the clock at 25 seconds. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to come down these stairs. Seize, he's put himself in perfect position. He's going to shut this down. Shocks, he can't even get one. And now it's all over. There's Seize pouncing at the right moment. Both kills. First round of OT over to Na'Vi. Yeah, Seize's positioning then was outstanding. Reading the game plan well and just getting himself in such a great position. Prepared for that rotate, completely unraveling what Shox was trying to do there to secure the bomb site as best he could by pushing up further. It does seem as though we do have a tactical timeout for G2 and OT. Well, yeah, I mean, if you look at how this map has played out so far, heavy on the CT sides, if you're either one of these teams, all you're saying is one round on the terror side, that, that should be enough, right? Yeah. Especially because you have so much money on the CT side, you, you have the ability to take those risks to go straight into that double op setup and not be punished for it. Let's have a little look through that G2 side body there. Looking calm, no pressure yet mounting. Of course, this is a high pressure situation, but he looks fine in it. Still the first map. This is the first time they're really playing best of threes though, so I guess you get that feeling of, it's not over if we just mess up here. We've got all that time to you know, sort things out and come back on, got a good map pull here, but of course you want that first map. Of course you want that good performance, but it's already a, well, quite a dire point. And if you're Navi, you need that first map. We haven't seen a good game on Nuke from them, I think in the entirety of the game. Yeah, since what, a, you know, <laughs> Astana Dragons, I guess? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you got, you got to go back real far. But for now, G2 prepare themselves again to try and breach the walls that Navi are setting up. Ian has the off again towards bathrooms at range. No information being found out quite yet, but he's got an angle for one kill. Oh, well, he does give it up. Pretty much just as I say that. And over at the B bomb site, it is just kind of a duel for info. What's coming? They know Shox is there. They know the pressure. They know there's at least one player, but they would like to know more. And simple. Keeps doing the jump over, gets info again. Goes for the shot. Ambitious. I think he had success there in uh, well, one of the regulation rounds. Right? Yeah. Some spam damage coming out, not too much, and NBK, he's got to be very careful. He's almost getting caught out a couple times here. Might want to just give up that battle. No reason to risk it. Yeah, he's brought down to 16. He's basically out of the fight. Essentially, at this point, you turn NBK into a lurker, someone watching the flank. But everyone from G2 now, no real presence over towards A. They just kind of push back any bodies that would have been in bathroom. Make sure it's all clear. Make sure there's no quick flanks coming, and they readjust for a B hit. Yeah, Simple's going to make this really awkward. If this is the hit that I think it was meant to be before that never really came through, he's in such a good spot to undo this. And yeah, you can see him working that smoke like a champ. Already MBK going to fall to him, but can he and Apex do break in? That might mean this is still back on, but with so little time. And Flamey doing that. Hello, Flamey. Welcome to the game, my friend. That is the sort of play you want to be seeing out Na'Vi. What a rock. What a performance from Flamey. Triple kill. They can't stop him. That's great stuff. And yeah, that, that hit did not seem like it had a whole lot of power to it, did it? No. I don't think they were expecting the third player to be. I don't think they were expecting Flamey after they got those two kills. Which is a bit unfortunate. Guardian even getting back in time. Two rounds for Navi, like we said. G2 just wants that one on the T side. If you get it, we saw Navi struggle on that T side. Yeah. There's no two ways to put it. It was pretty poor. 
Here's a cool little fake. This might work out. That one smoke up mid is going to make them say there's aggression, but there's not. It's hit towards the B bomb site. G2 trying to pick up the pace, and Na'Vi not taking the great fights. They've lost B for now. The Molotov is going to delay the plan, and simple. What's he got? Do it simple. See what you can do. Trying to find an angle that they won't expect, but they're already keeping this one pretty under wraps. The bomb's coming in, but he still succeeds. Kenny S falling is a travesty, and now he finds Apex. G2 are letting this slip between their fingers. A 2v3 now emerges, and it's Body and it's MBK who have to do it all flashed up blind, trying to find some arrest by. Oh, and MBK sprays for all he's worth, but Na'Vi close out the first half cleanly. You're exactly right. That one kill on to Kenny was huge. He was the one in the far back that all those players in the bombsite are making space for. You think Kenny's sitting there with the op and they're saying as soon as they come over this ramp, he's going to be able to pick them off. I think that Molotov just distracted him a bit too much, but Simple's the one that saves everything. The bombsite is lost. They're at a disadvantage there, and those two kills seal it. Apex trying to get too aggressive. That bombsite, we've always known, if you control waters, you are the king of that bombsite, and Simple holds it down perfectly. Second half. This is, this is actually the test, I guess, overall. One, we know the G2 can play that CT side. That's, that's fine. Yeah. It's more, can Na'Vi somehow adjust from what was going incredibly wrong for that one round that they need on this T side? It feels so quiet. Simple's got 31 kills. I don't know when that happened, but he's up there. Great performance from him. I think maybe just overshadowed because of Guardians, you know, the fact that he was so quiet in the first half and he, that AWP has been so impactful ever since the second half began. Double AWP there for G2, Shocks and Kenny S. Well, here is Seized. Saw this, this was the entire plan from Na'Vi and the, they know G2 likes to be aggressive in the mid rounds. So C is just trying to hold it down over towards the B bomb site, trying to catch out any of that aggression. Not happening so far. Actually, this entire defense from G2 is pretty passive. Very, very far back right at the start. Guardian's going to be pretty measured. Here's the duel that we always wanted to see. Kenny down to 19, NBK down to 17, but Apex, he snuck up and Guardian's not expecting it. Seize is down as well and simple solo. Edward can't finish the kill off. G2's going to get away with one here. Hey, it's going to remind them that they can win rounds as well. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's been a while. Na'Vi have been pretty relentless on this uh, turn back around to this sort of point. That seed side of theirs was flawless, but we, we all knew that G2 can play this half. That there's no surprise. It's more the fact that Apex, Shocks, doing the motions, going through it, taking down your heavy hitters. You still have Simple there, but he's already low, so it kind of makes it a little bit trickier. Flamey can still make plays, but on this sort of time scale, you're, you're not expecting much. Well, oh, look at Apex, the backstab. We saw some of this in regulation as well. Apex with the timing, it's so nice. Knows exactly where the hit's coming in, is just there for the insurance policy. Once he makes that play, there's pretty much zero chance Na'Vi wins that round. Beautiful stuff. In a round where NBK's brought low, where Kenny S is legged by Guardian in an op duel, G2 is able to outlast it. Good on them, 16-18. Poised. Na'Vi still waiting to take this one away. Want to get themselves to that second map where you know it all really begins. But G2, they don't want to let this slip. They don't want this to go to three. They 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 wanted this in two. That was the whole intention of this plan. And Guardian, looking for opportunities. Flamey, taking over playground. No one's really playing aggressively yet from the CT side. Shock's having a little bit of look, but Apex is working his way up. He's just looking into the wall for a flashbang. As soon as Kenny S shoots, that's when Apex is going to pounce. Or if he hears the flashbang itself, he might just turn. A lot of investment for G2 on this aggression this late in the game as well. Here it comes. Guardian, Flamey, Edward. Tough task for them. Uh, tough, tall task. And the first man to get past is Apex. He takes one with him, but he does go down. Yeah, that's going to be disappointing, though. Kenny's going to be frustrated with himself for missing that shot because his teammate dies. I mean, at least it's a one-for-one, one, but mm. that should have been a two-for-one trade in the way of G2. Kenny's going to feel that way. Perfectly set up to get one more pick. Either way, control now for Na'Vi. They've pushed back that pressure with only losing one. Now it's Kenny S rotating to work with NBK. He overextends, but he's not fully punished. Takes some damage. You can see the danger, though. Every decision matters here. Kenny with that angle misses another one. What is going on here? Both of these two players are playing such a dangerous game. The Molly comes in, and MBK takes a shot. Takes down Flamey. Smoke goes up. 
He's okay for now. No, Seize finds an angle to operate under. We're down to a 3v3, but time. 24 seconds. Kenny prepares. He knows the hit's coming. He's got body beside him. The flash comes out. But where's the hit? He waits. He waits. He spots maybe the barrel, and that's all he needs. Kenny comes into it. Oh, but the trade! 10 seconds! And it's down to body to keep this one secure. And he does more than enough. G2 keep themselves in it. This could be going double OT. It could very well could be. G2, 2-0 so far. They've had three chances to lose this. And Na'Vi just can't make that hit work, but you could see so many of these decisions come so close to impacting everything, to just have a team lose everything. And I think Guardian now, even with 16k, no, he does have an AWP. I think it might have been dropped over for him. It starts to become a battle of longevity, doesn't it? It goes from just, you know, getting the rounds. It's so much sustain here and keeping that focus up once you go into these OTs. This has been happening this whole match, though, on Na'Vi's offensive side. They just don't seem very convinced that they want to trade some of these kills. Apex again out towards Long. He almost takes a bullet, but he falls away, just che checking for information. A little cheeky. Goes for it again, and he spots out a bit more. But look how aggressively this time Na'Vi is taking Long. This is quite good. C's still all alone. It's a 4-1 setup. NBK is the only one can let stop this. I don't think he's going to be able to. They don't even smoke it off. Edward turns the corner. There's NBK. He gets the benefit. No utility was used by Na'Vi on this hit. Now it's going to be a dicey, but they have all the attention. C's can backstab now. This is an awkward sandwich for Kenny S and Apex. They still have time to play with here on the T side. Finally, they have a little bit of a moment to do it. And C's strikes, and he strikes well. Kenny S is the first to fall, but there's another possible victim. C's trying to keep it together, but Na'Vi now have the sight under wraps. The smokes are up. The walls get put up and Na'Vi lock this one down. Bomb toyed with, teased, not actually committed. Spots out a player who wants this. Simple. Raring to go. You can see him desperate for these kills, but he's buying time as well. But no, Apex right back into it. Trade it out. Oh, Flamey, the two kills are absolutely paramount. And it's all into C's hands. That kill is huge, but it's a 1v1. Bomb is taking. He tries to back away. He gets spotted. And now Shocks trying to take the fight. And oh. there it is, seized, what a shot in the end. Incredible play from him, just claiming that final moment. The game ends, it's seized with three kills, and Na'Vi close out overtime, 19 to 17. It's so very close, Seize, what a performance in that final round, the in-game leader. Sandwiching those players in bathrooms, clearing out that defense, Simple seems so hesitant on the bomb. But in the end, Seize is able to clutch it out, just pre-firing the corner, knowing Shocks has to peek into it. The Pay Safeguard Post-Match Breakdown. Well, the caster is already raising the roof, and justifiably so. Quite the adventure we've just been on, ladies and gentlemen, but Na'Vi have prevailed. Double overtime was certainly something to look forward to. However, G2 are going to fall flat. Joining me, YNK and Mr. Chad Burchill slash Sponge. We've got a scoreboard up on our screen, so we should probably bring that bad boy down now. But uh, we were talking about the scoreboard, Chad. I'm just going to do that. How's that? Does that work for you? Sure. Cheers, man. Uh, we were talking a little bit about the, uh, the power of that overtime, the power of Guardian. He seemed to be the influence towards the end of that one, turning things around. Well, if you want to go real deep here, Alex, he got completely shot out of that first half, right? This tournament so far, until this matchup, he had 81 kills with the AWP in group stages. And then you compare that to his rifle frag. So M4, silenced M4, and the AK, he only had 12 kills in total, right? So uh, in this game, in the first half, he only had three kills. One of them was with the AWP and two with the AK. And then we get on to the second half. He's able to turn it around. Him, Edward, and Simple all having fantastic performances to get them back into the overtime. But you have to talk about that one massive blunder, G2 dropping the ball and losing that eco round. Yeah, it does seem to be a bit of a taste of their own medicine sometimes. G2, powerful, powerful rounds winning at their own eco sometimes. And this time it bit them in the backside, Yanko. Yeah, it just tells you how in a game like this you can never get complacent, right? Yeah. Every, everything was going well for them, and that one slip up turned the game around. I mean, not necessarily turned it around completely, but it was what allowed Navi to make the comeback in the end, right? They had a, a, a big lead, and uh, throwing away at an eco round is never a good thing. You wonder some of the decision making, they were a little bit spread around, if they stuck together a bit more closely, if the spacing was better, and if they didn't try to like take those fights, rather just go to the bomb site and plant the bomb, they would have probably been able to win that anti -eco. That's something that's really interesting as well to me is not only did Guardian, of course, turn things around for Na'Vi, but I mean, an 11-4 half. I mean, overpass isn't usually that polarizing, right? A convincing lead, especially on the defensive side. 
maybe win the pistol and, and, that, and that game's over. How on earth did Na'Vi go ahead and turn things on its head completely, Chad? What, were the, what, what, what correlated for that to happen? All the rocks uh, sh showed up in the second half, really. Sharp rocks. Yeah, like Flamey was getting into it towards the end. He had a pretty slow game, but I think the stars was obviously Edward. He was the one doing a lot of the heavy lifting early. That allowed Guardian to warm into it and then Simple even more so as we slowly closed in towards that overtime. I think he ended up being towards the top of the scoreboard, maybe first or second, I'm not exactly sure but uh, you know they were just holding strong if you if you look at the two ways that the teams played their CT sides G2 early on were very aggressive taking yeah. fights not allowing Na'Vi to do that patented execute style whereas Na'Vi they were more than happy just to be hey G2 we know that you guys don't have dry runs as good as ours come try and hit our bomb sites we'll multi-frag you day in day out and yeah. that happened time and time again everyone was doing their jobs properly and situations got a bit dicey but they were always able to close them out I mean, who, who do you, who are eyes drawn to on the Na'Vi side of the source of that victory? Guardian already been discussed, but I mean, where do you point your finger? I think Guardian is the main player. I mean, seeing how much impact he had with, the, with that AWP, and it's also important the way in, in which Na'Vi utilizes him with some early aggression. You know that probably Na'Vi is thinking coming into the second half, the G2, if they can drag out the round against G2, they probably don't have like super crisp executes to end out the round. If they have to play slow and yeah. check positions for Guardian uh, not to get picked off, then they are not like Astralis, for example. They don't have super elaborate executes to end out the round. And you could see that, as Chad pointed out, when it, when it did come to those executes for G2 to end the round out, Flashes weren't there, or the Molotovs, or the smokes. You can see right. Flamey on the B bomb side, Guardian on the A bomb side. You know, Edward also had a couple of really good rounds, and they were just getting mowed down by Navi's players. Mowed down. Final points are with you. Yeah, Chad. just just one quick one. Shocks. I think the in-game leadership stuff is starting to take the toll on him. If you if you look back, you, you look at his stats in recent times with G2. He hasn't been the star that you know. He's in the discussion to be in the Mount Rushmore of CS:GO, yeah. but at the moment he's uh, he's really struggling. I want to see him get fired up. Get fired up perhaps on Nuke, quite appropriate. An explosive map coming up next. Could Na'Vi seriously do this in two? Most of our analysts were expecting this to go two to the French. We'll find out though as we return. We're talking all about your second map after a short break. Join us after that.